This is a short video showing the Rockette monoblock hydraulic control valve line. These are the reasons that Rockette invested in this new monoblock line. 1. To add capacity for 150,000 additional high precision bores in monoblock hydraulic control valve bodies, principally for new customers. 2. To allow heavy castings to be delivered directly to the line in standard rocket boxes with no human manipulation. 3. To allow accurate machining of bore grooves to guarantee highly tuned spool timings. 4. Because cleaning and 3D measurement before honing needs to be inline and totally automated. Honing dimensional, geometrical and surface tolerances need to be less than 1 micron to achieve low internal leakages. This is the control screen from the line and here is where the raw material enters. Here are 4, 5, 6 machining centres. Here is the high pressure washing machine the 3D coordinate measuring and the honing area and this is the area where the finished bodies are delivered. Here we can see where raw material arrives in, where finished bodies are delivered out and finally an area for any rejected components. Here is another view of the same area. The raw material in the inbox is all placed with the port face upwards. Here we can see an overall view of the line and five of the six machining centres. Here we can see the robot with a magnetic head optically sensing the casting position, taking the casting and positioning it in a known position on the table. The robot then changes the magnetic head for a conventional grab, placing the magnetic head in its home where it is clean, and taking the double headed mechanical grab and collecting the valve casting. The valve body is then delivered to the first of the machining centers. The robot then delivers valve bodies to each machine in sequence. As a body finishes in one machine, it's then moved to the next. In this case, we can see there is a requirement to change the orientation of the body. It's held in this fixture, and the robot takes the body again from the other side. Here we can see the same process, but with a video taken from the robot itself. Apart from the machining centers, the robot also delivers valve bodies to the honing machine, to the high pressure washing machine, and also to the 3D coordinate measuring machine for inspection. Here we can see the inlet, inlet or robot side of the high pressure washing machine with two valve bodies in position. Here we can see the front of the same machine.
after machining and cleaning, all valve bodies are measured in the coordinate measuring machine before being delivered for honing. Here a valve body is moved into the honing centre. is clamped and is moved into the first honing position which is the rough honing. Following the rough honing the body is moved into the inspection position where an air gauge measures the diameters on each of the eight lands in this valve body. Following the rough honing, the finish honing operation is conducted, followed by another inspection operation on each of the lands, and finally a brushing operation to remove the burrs caused by the honing operation. This process is then repeated for each of the other spools in the body and the body is then finally delivered. Following completion of the valve bodies, they are then taken to a separate area for washing. A new washing machine will soon be incorporated in the line to make this operation part of the automatic line. Following the second washing operation, the valve bodies are taken to the assembly area for assembly by the operators. When a valve is completed, it is placed in the fully automated test area for test while the operator continues with the next valve. The automated test cycle includes internal and external leakage, leakage of pressure check valves, setting of port reliefs and the main relief if there is one, function of anti-cavitation valves, Pressure drops through each spool, which checks specifically if throttles are fitted where necessary, and finally a flushing operation.